Very cool. Now, one of our own Denver 8 TV shows, Connected Colorado, recently featured a light sculpture show from Lumonics at the Museum of Outdoor Art. The show is over now, but we wanted to learn more about this amazing art and amazing artist who is still going strong at 94 years old, Dorothy Tanner. Okay, so we're here in the Lumonics Gallery with Dorothy Tanner. Dorothy, thank you so much for having us. You're entirely welcome. We're so, so excited to be here in this really, really neat, unique space. I don't think I've ever been in a space like this. I so hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the history of, of Lumonics. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Give us some highlights. Uh, well, the most important one was an epiphany that Mel, my husband, had when we had completed a installation and we were walking to a diner, walking across a parking lot, and he looked up and there was a flash of light from an airplane and he saw himself on the other side of the parking lot. After that, he was uh, changed. That took us from venturing with light and sound sculpture to, yes, we can affect people in the way that we want to. Talk to us a little bit about the, the idea of light. How did you guys come into what we know Lumonics today? How did this light work start? Okay, Mel was a painter uh -huh. and I was doing sculpture, uh, you know, the gamut of it, from clay to metal to wood to stone and then finally to plastic. And we came across the material, plexiglass. Mm -hmm. We both got into lighting the pieces. The art is, began to evolve. We had met a guy who was capable of hooking up the lights to sound. Wow. And we're able now to manipulate the lights. Mm -hmm. Is light a metaphor for anything? What does the light in the work represent to you? Enlightenment. Enlightenment. The effect of sound, music, and light is really, it's very healing. Mm -hmm. And I guess basically that's what we were about. You're about healing. Yeah. 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 Essentially. Yeah. It's about healing and um, being able to leave the self that you're accustomed to carrying around mm -hmm. and uh, find other areas of your persona that are there, mm -hmm. but now you are able to recognize it. So it's, it's, it's sort of like art um, meant for exploration and escape. That's what it sounds like to me, what you're saying. Uh, it was, a, it was a way of exploring life yeah, and escaping. Yeah, escape into another personality. Sure. Not escape from life yeah. as such. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And, and so you mentioned that you and your husband sort of nurtured this work for years together. And it's my understanding that a lot of the work in the gallery is your husband's work. Yes. And your work sort yes. of combined. Yes. Um, what would you say are some stylistic differences and similarities between your work and your late husband's work? Essentially, it's, it started out with Mel being more geometric and my being more organic in mm -hmm. uh, approach. Well, this work is, is really, really vibrant. It's very imaginative. Oh, yes. And you're still creating to this day? You're still back in the studio making things? Yeah, yeah. I can just imagine, you know, the, the possibilities for merging light and, and sound and, yeah. and all of those things. And here, you have a performance space here as yes, well, yes, right? Yes, For all these years that you've done this on your own. You've done this because you, you love it and because it's, because it's your passion. It, it also keeps us free. Mm -hmm. We've had the opportunity along the way to uh, make a lot of money with uh, doing certain products, repeating them, you know. 
And when push comes to shove, we walk away from it. Mm -hmm. We somehow have had, and now Mel's been gone uh, like about 24 years. Wow. But these guys that are with us are just as dedicated to the lifestyle mm -hmm. and what it is that we're involved with. Yeah, I think that's the that's really great. Well for it. Absolutely. Yeah, that's yeah. just what it's really about, you know. And in our city right now, in Denver, you know, um, affordability is an issue, and, and there are artist communities oh, yeah. um, like yours, you yeah. know, people that are living together, creating together, working together, um, that are, are it's finding. Very, it's very much more the way of things now. Mm -hmm. When we were doing it, well, you're joining a cult, <laughs> you know, that's uh, they didn't understand. Mark's parents, and you know, hey, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, no, it's very, very solidly what it is. It's a, in one sense, it's really quite beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. It really shows the ability for art um, to bring people together um, yeah. in a way that isn't superficial, in a way that is in depth very yeah. in-depth yeah. and creating long-lasting relationships. Yes, yes. Well, I'm, I'm really excited to see the rest of the space. The work is amazing. Yeah. Um, so much insight from you. It's great. I would like very much if you would come inside. Now, my understanding is that you do poetry. I do, I do. And we can go inside and we can perhaps turn on a, a beat, although that could interfere with your rendition, whatever you like. Let's, I'm willing for uh, whatever you want to, let's do it. Let's do it, I'm excited. This morning, I turned to the east and stared at the rising sun that snuck upward against the sky as though summoned. As the orange mixed with the blue of morning, a smile broke upon my face like a ripple in still water, and for a moment, the ominous crackle of the world burning outside our door was calm. For a moment, the homeless man on the corner of Colfax and Spear, the one with the tired eyes and dirty bedroll sitting loyally like a puppy at his feet, found shelter in the company of a stranger who bought him breakfast, and for a moment, there was peace. For a moment, a mother facing forced eviction at the hand of developers watched her oldest daughter graduate high school, cap and gown swaying like prayer flags in the wind, and for a moment, there was peace. For a moment, the bombs bearing our name booming overseas were silenced. A boy looked to the blue of the sky, imagining a better tomorrow, and for a moment, there was peace. We live in the most beautiful of times. We live in the most challenging of times, so we must never forget how to dance amid the smoke, to celebrate through the pain, to smile through the sadness, to sing through all the tears, to love through all the hate. Let us work. Let us work so that we, the living, be drawn to our own light, that we dig into the deepest parts of ourselves and find our very treasure, that we open these sacred boxes and always give more than we take. Let us work so that we can grow compassion in the gardens of our hearts, that our words sprout legs and our actions grow wings, that our minds be open like tulips in the spring. Let us work so that we learn the difference between the bootstraps and the bootless, that we remember the ones that others have forgotten. Let us work, to use our hands to lift each other up, to dismantle the man-made borders we impose upon one another. Let us work so our communities are healthy and happy and prosperous. May we be courageous. May we be transformed and reborn each day. May we live free and with abandon. May we grow and dream and love. May we be unapologetically us. And today, may we prove that this great world lives up to its reputation, that its heart is as big as its mountains and that its arms are long enough to embrace all of the people who call this house their home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. How cool is that? We'll be back with much more art scene on the other side.